Have you been wondering what Kanye West thinks about Kim Kardashian's relationship with Pete Davidson? We've got the answer, plus everything else you could possibly want to know about the comedian's often high-profile love life. Keep watching. Pete Davidson joined the cast of Saturday Night Live in 2014 at the tender age of 20. He rocketed to instant fame, and within months, he was dating a fellow celeb. As in 2015, he hooked up with Carly Aquilino, a comedian known for MTV's Girl Code. Davidson made regular appearances on the corresponding show Guy Code, so it's likely they met in that capacity. MTV proudly posted a roundup of Instagram photos of the couple, although most of them have since been deleted. The two seem to have remained friends, even though they split up in 2015. Aquilino had a part in 2020's The King of Staten Island, which Davidson starred in and co-wrote with director Judd Apatow. She thanked him on Instagram for the opportunity, as she wrote, "'Thank you, Pete and Judd Apatow, for letting me be a part of it.'" In a 2020 interview with Charlemagne the God, Davidson perked up at the mention of Aquilino as he revealed, "'Oh, we love Carly. She's the best. We're cool friends. We actually hang out all the time. She's honestly one of the coolest chicks I think I've ever met.'" Davidson's first truly high-profile relationship was with Cassie David, daughter of comedy legend Larry David. They dated for several years, and he credited her with helping him stay sober. As he told Entertainment Tonight in 2017, "'I'm very lucky. She's very, very supportive.'" For her part, David told E.T. that her father liked that she was dating a comedian. As she put it, "'He loves it because he feels like the only people he can talk to are people who also make jokes. It worked out very well.'" Davidson loved him right back. As he told People magazine, "'He's the sweetest man in the world. He's the coolest. I listen to everything he says very carefully because you want to retain it all." Alas, they weren't destined to last forever, and Davidson's next relationship would invite plenty of scrutiny about how his romance with David ended. According to TMZ, they were on a break when Davidson found his new girlfriend, pop superstar Ariana Grande. In David's 2020 essay collection, No One Asked For This, she revealed that she found herself screaming in agony over the situation. Davidson, meanwhile, told Insider that he was happy for the success of her book, as he admitted, "'We're cool. I wish her nothing but the best.'" Ariana Grande had split up with her ex, rapper Mac Miller, just weeks before she hooked up with Pete Davidson. So many people were obsessed with this surprising collision of comedian and pop superstar, and the early days of their coupling dominated the headlines in 2018. Those first few weeks were a flurry of speculation and rumor, plus a ship name to rival the likes of Benifer and Brangelina, Grandson. Grandson was a bona fide media frenzy, with one particular photo of the couple going particularly viral. It featured the two of them walking in New York City with Grande in an oversized bright yellow hoodie licking a lollipop as she stared up at her much taller boyfriend, with her trademark high ponytail on full display. It even sparked a costume craze, although the relationship wouldn't even last until Halloween. In a sign of troubles ahead, a fan accused Grande of being responsible for Miller's DUI charge shortly after she got together with Davidson. She clapped back on Twitter by responding, "'How absurd that you minimize female self-respect and self-worth by saying someone should stay in a toxic relationship. I I am not a babysitter. I will continue to pray from the bottom of my heart that he figures it all out." Mere weeks after they started dating, Davidson and Grande made it official with a reported $93,000 engagement ring. He confirmed the rumors on The Tonight Show in July 2018. How are you, how are you handling it all right now? Lit, Jimmy. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I was thinking I was gonna say that, but it's so lit. The couple got a number of tattoos to mark their relationship. Davidson inked Grande's Dangerous Woman era bunny ears on his neck, while she got Pete on her ring finger and an 8418 tattoo to match his, which commemorated the FDNY badge number of his late father. During their time together, Grande found herself in the position of frequently defending her fiance against trolls. After a barstool sports blogger said that Davidson had butthole eyes, she replied on Twitter, "'Y'all do know this man has an autoimmune disease, right?' She also included a track called Pete Davidson on her 2018 album Sweetener, which was released a few months into the relationship. The refrain on the song features her repeating to herself that she's going to be happy. When fans questioned the wisdom of naming a song after someone she'd only been with a few months, she responded on Twitter, "'Life's too short to be cryptic and about something as beautiful as this love I'm in." How did you know Pete was the one for you? I mean, it's just like a feeling, you know? 
That's so cheesy. In September 2018, Mac Miller passed away from an accidental overdose. Grande and Davidson were still together at the time, but Davidson later revealed that he knew then that the engagement was over. As he told Charlemagne the God in 2020, I was like, listen, I get it. Do whatever you've got to do. I'll be here. I think I said, I'll be here until you don't want me to be here. I pretty much knew it was around over after that. So in October 2018, Davidson and Grande ended their five-month whirlwind relationship. A source in Grande's camp confirmed what much of the world had been thinking by telling People magazine it was way too much too soon. Shortly after they ended things, Grande released her song Thank You Next, which calls out her exes by name and rattles off the things she learned from each one, including the lyric, I almost got married, and for Pete, I'm so thankful. After the dissolution of his engagement, Davidson soon rebounded with Underworld star Kate Beckinsale, who's 20 years his senior. The two were spotted making out at a New York Rangers hockey game, while Queer Eye's Antony Porofsky looked on uncomfortably. Shortly thereafter, Davidson confirmed the relationship on SNL, while making fun of people who were interested in their age gap. As he put it, Apparently, apparently people have a crazy fascination with our age difference. Uh, but it doesn't really bother us." He then rattled off a list of other celebrities who have dated younger people, including Leonardo DiCaprio, Jason Statham, and Larry King. Beckinsale also spoke about their relationship without mentioning Davidson by name. As she admitted to the Los Angeles Times, "...I've never been in this position before, never dated anybody who comes with their own bag of mischief." She also noted that she didn't like having people staking out her house to spy on her relationship, calling it old-fashioned and a little bit tired. They broke up in May 2019 after four months of dating, according according to a source who spoke to Us Weekly. Davidson had a busy 2019 after breaking up with Kate Beckinsale. In August, Us Weekly confirmed that he was in a new relationship with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood star Margaret Qualley. They were spotted during the Venice Film Festival, going on dates around town and attending screenings together. She was there for the premiere of her film Seaburg, which also starred Kristen Stewart. In October, Qualley's mother, Andy McDowell, told People magazine that she hadn't met Davidson yet, but that she very much approved of their union. She also explained that she didn't want to be pushy with her daughter, as she admitted she has a beautiful relationship with him, but I don't want to step on her relationship too much. They have a nice relationship. But as fast as the romance began, it was just as quickly over. They split after only two months together, with a source telling Us Weekly that they remained friends. Davidson told Charlemagne the God in 2020 that Qualley was a beautiful soul, while also insisting, she'll win an Oscar. She's gonna win an Oscar for sure. She's so talented. In the last few months of 2019, Davidson found himself on the other side of an age gap relationship while dating model Kaya Gerber, who had recently turned 18. As an insider told E! News around that time, Kaya expressed she loved Pete's personality. She thinks he is charming and is very intrigued. In his 2020 sit-down with Charlemagne the God, Davidson recalled that the relationship was a bad idea. As he put it, we were dating for a few months and she's very young, and I'm f***ing going through a lot. She should be having fun and she shouldn't have to worry about some dude that just, like, has issues and It would seem that Gerber agrees. As she told Vogue in 2021, "...I tended to date older people because those were the people I was around. And I got put in situations where one day I'd wake up and be like, how did I get here? I have no idea what I'm doing and I need help." Shortly after splitting, Davidson spent some time in rehab, and he even joked on SNL about the experience. You know, the kind of vacation where, like, insurance pays for some of it, and they take your phone and shoelaces. After things fell apart with Kaya Gerber, Davidson took some time off from dating. Then, in April 2021, he revealed during a virtual Q&A with Marquette University students that he was with his celebrity crush. He didn't name her specifically, but he seemed to confirm rumors that he was seeing someone new. That someone turned out to be Bridgerton star Phoebe Denever. Fans caught on to the fact that the identically initialed stars wore similar necklaces bearing their shared monogram. Davidson flew out to the United Kingdom to visit her, and an Us Weekly source confirmed that they were dating long distance after having met in New York. Their first public appearance happened a few months later, when he repeated one of his signature moves and showed off some PDA with his new girl at a sporting event. In this case, cameras captured the two cuddled up at a Wimbledon tennis match. He kissed her on the forehead, and she returned the affection with a peck on his cheek. Alas, this romance didn't last very long, as The Sun confirmed their split in August 2021, after just five months together. The issue was separate work commitments. For him, a movie and a new season of SNL in New York, and for her, the next season of Bridgerton in the UK. 
Though Page Six reported that Kim Kardashian's estranged husband Kanye West was in attendance when she hosted SNL in October 2021, it appears that someone else in the studio caught her eye, none other than the modern-day Casanova, Pete Davidson. In one of that episode's sketches, Kardashian played Jasmine to Davidson's hapless Aladdin, and the scene even featured them kissing. Shortly thereafter, the twosome were spotted holding hands at a Halloween event at Knott's Berry Farm, a theme park outside Los Angeles. Pictures of the couple riding a roller coaster went instantly viral, and it's not hard to see why. However, a source told Entertainment Tonight that they were simply friends, running in similar circles because of Davidson's friendship with the musician Travis Barker, who had recently gotten engaged to Kim's sister, Courtney. However, news soon broke on TMZ that they'd attended a secret dinner together in Davidson's hometown of Staten Island, and they were spotted around New York City several more times. In November, they appeared to confirm their relationship on a public stroll in Palm Springs, near her mom Chris Jenner's home. In photos published in the Daily Mail, they were spotted holding hands while Davidson was wearing Skims loungewear, Kim's brand. West was reportedly upset with the news, with a source telling Hollywood Life that he was particularly insulted that Davidson was invited to Jenner's house. Davidson had previously addressed the topic of West on SNL, as he said that he wished he'd told the rapper not to wear a Make America Great Again hat on the show because it might upset Kim. Sounds like they're even. If you or anyone you know is struggling with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.